This will be a tutorial of how to convert a point cloud into a topo service in Revit. Hey everybody, I usually don't post uh, tutorials, but I am today. And if you like this tutorial, let me know and I can create more. Also, I'll be posting some on my YouTube channel. So if you want to go check out the YouTube channel, there will be tutorials from time to time. But this one is going to be about how we can create a Revit topography from a point cloud generated from LiDAR or photogrammetry. So I'll just get into it now. There are several ways that we can do it, but first we have to clean up our point cloud. So here I've taken out the house and I've cleaned up the trees, taken out the fence so that I just have a surface. So what we need to do is convert this to data that Revit can use. We could either convert it to a mesh and get a DWG that Revit can read, or we can convert it to a CSV file or a TXT file. I'm going to focus in this tutorial on how to use InfraWorks to do this, but I'll shortly speak about how we can do it with others. And the first is right here inside of Recap, we can generate a mesh. Unfortunately, this costs Autodesk credits, and Autodesk credits are way more expensive than they should be, so we won't use that. We could also generate a mesh in Reality Capture by importing the laser scan right here. We could also import it into Civil 3D. We could attach the point cloud. Then from there, we could generate a surface and export a DWG, or we could export a TXT file or a CSV. But what I'm going to show is InfraWorks. This was the most successful way that I generated a surface from point cloud. So you'll create a new model, give it a name, and you need to select your coordinate system. Then push OK. OK, so to import the point cloud, we need to go to our data sources. I'm going to pick point cloud. This is my recap project that I'm going to bring in. And we have to configure this. So to place it in our area, we would right click, push configure, and we need to give it coordinate system. Then we close and refresh. And here it is in our model. Now we go to point clouds and point cloud terrain. The lightweight surface is going to put a point every so often and interpolate what's between. So that is what I want. I don't want a heavy surface, so this is ideal. So I click start processing and I'm gonna pause this. Okay, we now have that surface generated. Now what we need to do is export it as an FBX. So right here is where we can select the destination folder and give it a name. And now we're going to use 3ds Max to convert the FBX to a DWG file. You can see that it's only 119 kilobytes, which is very light. That's one of the advantages of using InfraWorks. And now I can import the WWG into Revit. We have that in Revit now. And I'm going to go to the Masking and Site tab, Topo Service, and create from import. You'll notice though when I select this DWG, it doesn't actually create any points. And to solve that problem, what I do is I export a DXF file. And then I'm going to import that DXF file. I need to make sure that it's on the same level as my DWG, which was level one. Okay, now they're exactly in the same spot. So I'm going to unpin the DWG and delete it. And now when I create my service, it will actually give us points. And there you go. It's about um, the perfect amount to get enough detail, but not so much that it's impossible to use. And that is how you can generate a topo service from a point cloud. If you like this tutorial, then um, you can check out our YouTube channel. Please submit questions if you have specific questions about the Autodesk AEC collection. We talk about Lumion a lot. And we talk about Adobe products and some other rendering engines as well. So submit your questions and I will answer them.